confined space and vessel entry Entry into a confined space or vessel should only occur after a work permit has been issued by a competent and authorized person The permit format must include all the issues mentioned below During a risk assessment certain precautions must be considered including the presence of toxic and flammable gases indoor temperature hazardous materials safe access energy sources and oxygen levels safety measures such as the use of breathing apparatus ventilation lighting 24 hour communication equipment standby personnel emergency plans work procedures specific safety equipment and fire fighting gear should be implemented the name of the person entering the confined space or vessel must be recorded upon entry and exit buddy system the permit should be visibly displayed at site only competent and trained individuals should be permitted to enter the confined space or vessel or to remain on standby Supervisors are required to oversee the work continuously and ensure all necessary precautions are taken. When dealing with hazardous chemicals or working in hot environments, individuals must change as required based on exposure and time. During work within a confined space, the standby person must remain near the entrance at all times. In the event of an accident, immediate reporting is essential and only trained personnel using specific equipment should conduct rescue operations while ensuring their own safety.